Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Sound of the Smartphone Guy here to do a quick video review of a couple of accessories that I picked up for the Honor 6X. Um, so I've had the Honor 6X for about 72 hours. I'm going to do a 72 hours later video a little bit later on today, but I want to talk about a couple of accessories I picked up from a company called Omaton. So O-M-O-T-O-N, you can see it right there. And uh, here they are on Amazon. So you can see for $7.99, you can get the two pack of glass screen protectors and for $7.99 you can pick the pick up the quote unquote dual layer case I mean, and I'll tell you why I'm doing the the air quotes here um, so $8, $8 um, you can see they both have two, three stars, three stars so um, obviously the ratings on here so far don't look all that great on Amazon but we'll go ahead and take a look at them and uh, kind of give you a first hand perspective of what they look like so here we go. Uh, so I want to talk about the case first. Um, so I've actually been using the case for a couple days. I, I've uh, actually had it on my 6X um, for a day or two now. And uh, so that's the case itself. So you can see very, very thin. It is basically clear. It kind of has like a smoky look to it because when you take the case off, the silver on the back looks um, a little brighter than it does here. Um, but you can see it has all the openings in the right spot. So that's a plus. There's no area so the microphone is good there um, so all of the areas are cut all the cutouts are correct um, but again it's called a dual layer case um, mainly I think just because it has the two-tone look but it is definitely not dual layer so to me dual layer is I have one piece that's maybe TPU and then I have a harder polycarbonate case that goes over that this is not that this is a very very thin um, very minimalist case in fact um, it almost doesn't add much protection at all for the phone. So I think that's probably one of the reasons. I think their marketing maybe <laughs> is a little off on that. By calling it dual layer, I think people are feeling like they're maybe being misled. Um, and yeah, they probably are, to be honest with you, um, because it doesn't seem dual layer to me at all. Um, okay, so that's the case. Um, so again, $8, and I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in picking it up. So if you just need a case that, you know, it gives it something, uh, then yeah, this is okay. Um, another thing I will add to that is that you can obviously see very clear TPU. Um, it doesn't have like, it doesn't bubble up or anything because it does have some little micro beads in there that you can't see, um, but it does have them in there that uh, kind of prevent it from sticking necessarily to the phone real close, um, even though it is a nice tight, tight fit. Um, the opening for the fingerprint sensor does make it a little bit more difficult to um, get, but it's not, it's not bad, like that's not really a deal breaker at all. Um, for me, the deal breaker is more or less that it's just so thin and it's a little bit on the slippery side too. So the phone itself is already quite slippery, but this case doesn't make it any better. Um, so anyways, just my thoughts on that. Um, so the phone itself does come with a, I don't know if you can see it, but it does come with a little plastic screen protector. And uh, one of the things you always run into whenever you get a uh, phone like this, any of the newer phones is that they always have those curved edges and so tempered glass doesn't always work best on the curved edges but we're going to go ahead and give it a try just to see how this one looks and feels on there so again this is a two pack so $7.99 for a two pack is nice good deal gone are the days that you have to spend an arm and a leg to get tempered glass and by that I mean like 30 40 bucks you can still get it, pay 30 40 bucks for them but I just don't think it's necessary all right, so we have our glass here. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of throw it on there just to see how it's going to look before I even put it on. So it looks like it's going to cover about the same amount that the plastic screen protector that they have on there covers. Yeah, roughly about the same amount. Let's see if we get some major haloing with this thing, though. We'll try it. Um, one thing I noticed is that it does cover, there's a little LED light right here. It covers that up, but that's not a big deal. Um, but let's go ahead and try it. We'll see what it does. I'm kind of thinking it might halo just because I think it goes a little bit over the edges, which could be an issue. So let's give it a try. Oh man, that screen protector they have on there is on there good. This is the one from the factory. Oh my gosh. I don't have any nails. Ouch. That hurt. <laughs> All right. So 
that pretty much cleaned it all off, but I'm going to go ahead and use a microfiber cloth and try to clean it up a little bit better. Use a little dust absorbing sticker on it. Oh man, you get to hear that. Holy cow, that sticks well. And the good news is if you screw it up the first time, at least you got two of them to try with. But if they both suck, then it's not any good. So let's try it. All right, I think I got all the dust. Maybe. You guys probably can see something I can't, but we'll try it anyways. All right, here we go. Putting it on. That was my wife opening the door, I believe. She realized I was shooting a video and shut the door. Oh, stupid dust. I mean, it must be I'm in a dusty room. All right, let's try it. Okay, it looks like it's lined up really nicely. Okay, nice big air bubble there you can see so far. But I think I can get all those out. Looks like I got a speck of dust underneath there. Okay, well, actually, no. That went on real nice. I do have that one, I don't know if you can see that right there. Not sure if I have something underneath that, or if it's just a bubble. All right, so that last video cut out on me, but I wanted to show you kind of the final product. Um, so the case, I'm gonna give this, I think the three out of five stars is probably legitimate, just because it's not really a very thick case. It's um, pretty slippery, definitely not thick at all. Um, and it even makes these buttons kind of harder to find, uh, the volume up and down and the power button. Um, but the screen protector, I think, works really well. I mean, it doesn't quite cover the top of the phone, but it covers all the way pretty much to the edges on the sides, which is pretty good. It covers the entire screen. And at the bottom, you can see here that it doesn't quite cover the bottom of the phone either. But overall, I think the tempered glass does a pretty good job. I mean, uh, with a curved screen like that, you can't expect it to really cover the entire thing. Now, they maybe could have gone a little higher up here at the top. So I guess if you're going to maybe knock it, um, you could say that. But it's definitely not nearly as much of a fingerprint magnet as the film that came on it. That's not the film that came on it. Well, the film that came on it is stuck to this stuff over here. There it is. Um, but that was a fingerprint magnet. You can see tons of fingerprints on it. But this tempered glass, you can see, like, I'm putting my fingers all over it. You can't really see those fingerprints. So... Um, I would definitely recommend the tempered glass. For me, that, that's working out really nice. Um, it looks good. Um, gives, obviously, added protection compared to what you get. Uh, so, yeah, I would say the temp tempered glass is a go. Um, but the, um, the case, not so much. But anyways, these are both available for $8 on Amazon. I'll leave the links down in the description. Please subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.